Hey, hey, here we are, October the 10th. We're doing the daily reflection. And uh, obviously I'm not in the backyard, I'm not at home. I'm over at Linda's store, uh, helping out a little. So, we're gonna be fast, we're gonna do this fast today. Uh, October the 10th, the, the reading is from the 12 and 12, uh, 12 traditions and uh, 12 steps and 12 traditions. If somebody hurts us and we are sore, we are in the wrong also. Seems pretty basic, doesn't it? I mean, it's really basic. We spent most of our life thinking that, you know, lots of us as addicts and alcoholics, that somebody else was to blame. But here it's saying, look, we've got to look for our part. And then uh, the writing uh, says, uh, what a freedom I felt, what a freedom I felt when this passage was pointed out to me. Suddenly, I saw that I could do something about my anger. I could fix me instead of trying to fix them. I believe that there is no exception to this axiom. I believe that there's no exception to this axiom. When I am angry, my anger is always self-centered. I must keep reminding myself that I am human, that I am doing the best I can, even when that best is sometimes not very good, sometimes poor. So I ask God to remove my anger and truly set me free. That's the key. That's the key. This whole thing, this whole process in the 12 steps is to um, relieve the spiritual malady. And what's the spiritual malady? This separation from God. We're on our own here if we don't have a relationship with, with consciousness, with love, with God. We're on our own. And, you know, and try as we might, thinking that, you know, having a lot of money is going to fix it or having the right relationship is going to, you know, we, this emptiness that every addict and alcoholic knows can't be erased by anything else but this connection. And the connection has been masked by our beliefs, by our conditioned ideas, by we are too full of ourselves and uh, selfish and self-centered. And we had to over, you know, kind of let that go. We had to subtract that. So that's the key to this relationship. It's really simple, it really is. Excuse me. <laughs> Unedited, baby. <laughs> anyway, and even as, you know, as I get older, I still see it even more clearly. Um, how my old beliefs established when I was a child still crop up. They're fundamental beliefs. They're in the system. So I can't change them. The I cannot fix the I. I have to turn towards this higher power, towards this higher consciousness, towards love, towards service. And as I live in that realm, the other is, is, doesn't exist. That's the deal. So, um, you know, clean up the past, help others, stay connected, we pause, we pray, we breathe. It's beautiful. All right. Love you so much. Gonna go. Got a call. <laughs>